Hi there! Welcome to my channel, English Bites. Today, ang ituturo ko sa inyo ay ang tangang gamit ng mga verbs na has been, have been, at had been. But before that, kung ikaw ay bago pa lang sa channel na ito, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell in order to be updated sa aking mga bagong video, at syempre, share na rin para mas maraming matuto. Has been and had been. Alright, first, we are going to analyze first ano yung mga subjects kailan uh, kailan ba natin pwedeng gamitin ang have been, has been at had been. Alright, ang have been ay pwede natin gamitin kapag ang mga subjects natin ay I, you, we, they, at plural noun. Pag sinabi natin plural noun, dalawang pangalan ng tao. Say for example, Albert and Joseph. Yan, plural noun yan. And then, has been naman, ito ay ginagamit kapag ang subject ay he, o pag uh, sa Tagalog siya, pag lalaki, she, sa English, sa ta Tagalog naman ay siya, kung babae, it naman pag bagay o hayop, at yan naman pag uh, Tagalog, and then singular noun. Pag sinabi natin singular noun, pangalan ng iisang tao lang. And then yung had been naman ay ginagamit kapag ang subject ay I, you, we, they, at plural noun. Ganon din sa he, she, it, at singular noun. Ibig sabihin, dito sa had been, lahat ng klase ng subject, whether singular or plural, ay pwede ang had been. Dito lang sa have been at has been ang naiiba. Alright. Next. Ang has been at have been ay napasama ito sa tinatawag natin na present perfect. Pag sinabi natin present perfect, it is used when the action started in the past and is still continuing to the present. Ibig sabihin, yung action ay nangyari sa nakalip nakalipas at tuloy-tuloy na nangyayari hanggang sa kasalukuyan. Alright, this is the diagram. Now, dito ang action ay mangyayari dito sa tinatawag natin na past. Papunta rito sa present. Ito ay Alright, here is the diagram. Alright, here is the diagram. Sa present perfect, ang action ay mangyayari dito sa past. And then, tuloy-tuloy ito na mangyayari papunta dito sa present. Mula rito sa past, sa nakalipas, tuloy-tuloy ang action hanggang sa present. Okay. Example. I have been working as a driver for five years now. Alright. Ang action ay nangyari sa nakalipas. Hmm? And then, gagamit tayo ng have been pag ang ating subject ay I. And then, working as a driver. Now, notice, itong may kulay na ito, ito ay prepositional phrase. Kapag tayo ay nasa present perfect, gagamit tayo ng prepositional phrase dito. Ito ay preposition of time. To indicate na yung action ay nangyayari mula noon. Ha? Sa loob ng limang taon hanggang ngayon. Alright. Next example. I have been working as a driver since 2015. Okay. Now, dito naman, ang uh, ating prepositional phrase ay since 2015. In other words, pwede rito sa present perfect ay for na preposition at since na preposition followed with the time element. Itong 5 years at saka year 2015 okay next you have been crying for one hour already alright ang ating subject ay you kaya ang ating gagamitin ay have been followed with the present participle crying and then yung time element na inuumpisahan ng preposition na for for and then time element na one hour okay next you have been crying since yesterday. Dito naman, the same sentence, pero dito, ang time element ay nag-uumpisa dito sa preposition na since. So, dalawang klaseng preposition ang ginagamit dito sa have been. Itong for at saka since. Okay. 
Next, you have been crying since yesterday. Kaya ganun din. Since naman dito, ay pareho pala. Next, sa plural naman, we have been waiting for you for three hours. Okay, dito, ang kasunod na time element ay nag-uumpisa sa preposition na for. And then, follow the time element, three hours. Next example, we have been waiting for you since yesterday. Dito naman, ang ating subject ay we pa rin. And then, siyempre, pag we, ang gagamitin natin ay have been. Hindi tayo pwedeng gumit. Hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit ng has been. Okay, pero ang time element natin dito ay uh, since yesterday na mag-uumbisa dito sa preposition na since. So, dalawang klaseng preposition lang sa time element ang gagamitin natin dito sa have been at has been. Ito yung for at saka since. Next, they have been working without pay for two, hour, uh, for two months already. Okay, again. Ang ating subject ay they, kaya ang ating gagamitin ay have been. Hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit ng has been dito. And then, ang time element natin ay for two months. Now, notice itong for two months natin, nag-uumpisa na naman dito sa preposition na for. As I've said, ang preposition na ginagamit sa time element dito sa present perfect ay for lang at saka since. Hindi na tayo pwedeng gumamit ng ibang preposition of time. Next, they have been working without salary since January. Okay, ang subject natin ay then, and then followed with have been, and then yung present participle na working, and then itong time element na nag-uumpisa sa preposition na since. Next, they have been eager to know you personally. Now, dito sa sentence na ito, Wala tayong time element dito na ginamit. Pero, the idea in the sentence is nag-umpisa yung action mula pa ng dito sa nakalipas. They have been eager. Ha? nag ang action sa nakalipas at tuloy-tuloy hanggang ngayon. They have been eager to know you personally. Mula noon hanggang ngayon ay tuloy-tuloy silang gustong malaman. Gusto kang malaman personally. Okay, next. Dito naman, they have been eager to see you. Meron na tayong time element dito na since yesterday. Na, na, itong time element natin ay nag-uumpisa dito sa preposition na since. By the way, itong time element natin, ito ay prepositional phrase din. Remember that, prepositional phrase din. Hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit ng ibang uh, uh, group of words dito sa Present perfect maliban sa prepositional phrase o time element. Okay, next. Joseph and Albert, alright, ang ating subject dito ay plural noun. Dalawang tao, itong si Joseph at si Albert, kaya ang gagamitin natin ay have been. Joseph and Albert have been preparing for the game for one week already. Again, ang time element natin ay, na, ay binubuo ng for one week. At itong time element natin ay nag-uumpisa sa preposition na for. As I've said, itong time element natin ay prepositional phrase din. Hindi tayo gumagamit dito ng subordinate clause dito sa per present perfect. Ang subordinate clause ay ginagamit lang sa past perfect. Okay, next. Joseph and Albert have been preparing for the game since last week. Okay, dito naman, ang time element natin ay since, since na, hindi na for. Dito sa isang sentence, ang time element natin ay for one week. Dito naman ay since last week. Okay. Next, dito naman tayo sa, uh, sa singular. Itong he ay singular, third person singular, kaya ang gagamitin na natin dito I has been. Hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit ng have been dito sa kapag ang ating subject ay he. He has been pleading for justice for two years already. Ang ating time element ay for two years. Remember, ito pa rin ang ating prepositional phrase kasi nag-uumpisa siya dito sa preposition of for. Okay. Next, 
He has been wanting to tell you the truth. Dito naman, wala tayo rito ng time element. Pero, ang kasunod ng, ng ating uh, uh, verb phrase na has been wanting ay itong prepositional phrase na to tell you the truth. Itong to ay preposition. Kaya ito naman ay, ito ang karugtong natin sa halip na instead of uh, time element, ay prepositional phrase na ang karugtong ng ating verb phrase na has been wanting. Ibig sabihin, He has been wanting to tell you the truth and from the past up to the present, mula pa nung uh, sa nakalipas hanggang ngayon, gusto niyang sabihin sa iyo ang katotohanan. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng idea rito. Okay, next. It has been waiting for three years. Kapag ang subject naman natin ay bagay o hayop, ang gagamitin natin ay it. At ang ating verb phrase ay mag-uumpisa sa has. Hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit dito ng have. So, it should be like this. It has been waiting for three days. Ang ating time element ay for three. At itong time element na ito ay prepositional phrase din kasi nag-uumpisa siya sa preposition na for. Okay. Peter has been waiting for a chance to see you. Now, ang ating subject ay Peter. Ito ay singular. Kaya ang ating verb phrase ay mag-uumpisa rin dito sa has. And then, after the after this verb phrase has been waiting, ang kasunod naman ay prepositional phrase. So, dito sa ating mga sentence na ito, pagkatapos ng verb phrase, ito ay sinusunda naman ng prepositional phrase. Halimbawa ito, has been pleading for justice. Ang kasunod ay prepositional phrase for two years. Ito naman, has been wanting. Ang kasunod ay prepositional phrase na naman, to tell you the truth. Dito naman, has been waiting. Ang kasunod ay prepositional phrase din. For three days, at dito, ganun pa rin. Next, our teacher has been waiting for a chance to see you. Now, pwede rin maging subject natin, hindi lang pangalan ng tao, kundi ganito, our teacher, my friend, my brother, my father. Okay. Pero ang ating verb phrase dito, dapat ay mag-uumpisa sa has, hindi tayo pwede gumamit dito ng have. Okay. Then after the verb phrase, kasunod ay prepositional phrase na naman. For a chance to see you. Now, has been and have been can be used also in expressing situations. Sa mga sitwasyon, katulad nito, I have been sick since yesterday. Ito ay sitwasyon. Kaya, ang gamit natin ay have been. And notice, meron pa rin tayo ditong prepositional phrase, since yesterday. And then, you have been warned already. Dito, wala tayong time element na ginamit. Pero, this is expressing a sentence, expressing situation. Kaya, have been ang ginamit natin. Next, we have been divorced for five years already. Okay, this is another sentence which shows expressing situations like this. Pero dito, aside from the situation, ay meron pa siyang prepositional phrase. Kaya talagang, ito talaga ang dapat na gamitin natin, have been. Next, they have been married for 10 years since 2010. Ito ay situation pa rin. Ang subject ay they, kaya ang gagamitin natin ay have, and then, meron pa rin tayo ditong uh, prepositional phrase, 14 years, tapos since 2010 pa. And then, he has been jobless for one year already. He ang subject natin, kaya ang ating verb phrase ay has been. Okay, dito naman, situation pa rin ito. Hindi tayo gumamit dito ng, uh, ng verb that ends in ing, yung present participle, hindi tayo gumamit. Instead, gumamit tayo dito ng situational uh, expression. Has been jobless for one year already. Next, her mother has been paralyzed. Another situation na naman ito. Kaya has ang ginamit natin kasi ang, ang ating subject ay singular na her mother. Dito naman, it has been sick since yesterday. It ang subject natin. At gumamit tayo ng has dito kasi singular itong it. And then this is another situational expression. Kaya has been ang ginamit natin dito. Next, 
Dito naman tayo sa hadbin. Ang hadbin ay kasama rito, rito sa tinatawag nating past perfect. Pag sinabi nating past perfect, it is used when the, uh, when the action started in the past and continued up to a certain point also in the past. Ibig sabihin, ang past perfect daw ay ginagamit kapag ang action ay nag-umpisa sa nakalipas and then tumutuloy ito papunta sa another part, sa isang bahagi naman na nakalipas pa rin sa isang pangungusap. Example, ito ang ating diagram. Alright, dito ang ating past, nag-umpisa rito ang ating action dito sa earlier stage. And then, ang action ay tuloy-tuloy papunta rito sa another stage na naman ng past. Ito. Mula rito sa past na earlier stage, ito ang unang past. Ang action ay tumutuloy papunta rito sa another stage o another portion in the past. Pero hindi na siya tumutuloy dito sa present. Hindi na. Pag ang action ay nag-umpisa rito sa past, dire-diretso hanggang dito sa present, yun ay present perfect. Yun ang ginagamit natin ng has been at have been. Okay. Now, example of past perfect. I had been working as a driver for five years when I quit. Na notice dito, ang ating subject ay I, gumamit tayo ng had been. By the way, sa had been, walang problema rito sa mga subject kasi lahat ng klase ng subject ay pwedeng gamitin ng had been. Now, I want you to notice itong kulay yellow na group of words. When I quit, ito yung indication that the action happened in a certain part in the past. Itong had been working as a driver, ito ay action that happened in the earlier part of the past sa naunang bahagi ng nakalipas. And then, tuloy-tuloy siya papunta sa second part ng past pa rin. Ito yung when I quit. Now, another point I want to tell you is itong colored na word, when I quit, this is a dependent or subordinate clause na wala sa present perfect. Ang nasa present perfect ay puro prepositional phrase at puro time element. Dito naman, sa past perfect, ang next part ng sentence ay palaging dependent clause o subordinate clause na nag-uumpisa sa when. Yan ang, yan ang gusto kong tandaan ninyo. Palaging nag-uumpisa sa when ang dependent clause na karugtong ng sentence ng independent clause dito sa past perfect. Ang ating independent clause ay I had been working as a driver for 5 years. Ito ang ating independent clause. Ang karugtong naman niya ay I mean ito ang ating independent pala, independent clause itong I had been working as a as a driver for 5 years. Ang kasunod naman niya ay dependent or subordinate clause. Kaya ito tinawag natin na dependent kasi dumidepende lang siya rito sa independent clause. Kapag wala itong independent clause, this group of words has no meaning. It does not make sense. Alright. So, ibig sabihin, sa past perfect tense, ay palaging may karugtong na dependent clause. Ang dependent clause ay pwedeng nasa last part, pwede rin sa nasa unahan. Okay. Another example. Now, this time, Iko compare natin ito sa present perfect. I have been working as a driver for five years. Dito, present perfect ito, ang ginamit natin dito ay preposition of time. For five years. Ito ang time element. Unlike dito naman, sa past perfect, ang ginamit dito ay dependent clause na nag-uumpisa sa word na when. Okay, sana nakuha nyo ito. Okay, next example dito sa past perfect. You had been sleeping when your boyfriend called. Alright. Ang action dito na nag-umpisa sa past ay itong sleeping. Uh, you had been sleeping. And then another part in the past, yung earlier stage, ay itong when your boyfriend called. Kaya ito ay under the past perfect tense. And then another point. Notice itong yellow colored group of words. When your boyfriend called, ito ay another dependent clause. Ang ating independent clause ay itong 
you had been sleeping. Pwede na natin lagyan ito ng period dito. Kasi ang independent clause is a clause that can stand alone. Alright. Now, itong when your boyfriend called, this is the indication that the sentence is under past perfect. I want you to remember that. Kapag wala itong dependent clause na ito, you cannot consider this as a past perfect tense. Pwede maging present perfect ito. Alright. So, remember again, ang dependent clause na dinudugtong dito sa independent clause para maging past perfect ay dapat palaging nag-uumpisa sa word na when. Hindi yung preposition. Hindi. Okay. Another example, ito naman, compare naman natin dito sa, sa present perfect. You have been sleeping since this morning. Dito naman, the same sentence, pero itong since this morning ay hindi dependent clause. This is not a dependent clause. Rather, this is a prepositional phrase. Hindi ito dependent clause. Kaya hindi siya pwedeng maging... Uh, Past perfect, hindi natin siya pwedeng gamitan dito ng had been. Kasi dito, ang action ay nag-umpisa sa past at tuloy-tuloy pa rin hanggang ngayon. Okay. <clears throat> Mula ng morning, tuloy-tuloy pa rin na siya ay natutulog. Okay, next. We had been practicing for two hours when our coach arrived. Now, another example of a sentence, itong we had been practicing, nangyari ito sa earlier stage. And the second stage naman, na nasa past pa rin ay when our coach arrived. Notice na past tense to dito. And again, itong colored group of words ay dependent clause na nag-uumpisa sa word na when. Notice, wala tayong ibang ginamit dito na introductory word maliban sa when lang. Palaging when lang ang ginagamit sa dependent, sa dependent clause na ginagamit na dinudugtong sa sentence para maging past perfect. Okay. Next, we have been practicing for two hours already. Okay, the same sentence. We have been practicing. Ang kaiba lang dito, have been na rito ang ginamit kasi dito, hindi na tayo gumamit ng dependent clause. Instead, prepositional phrase na naman ang ginamit dito for two hours. Kaya ito ay present perfect. Next. Has been and have been also, ito has been, have been, and had been, can be used also in the passive voice. Pwede rin gamitin ito sa passive voice. Example, my order has been delivered already. Okay. Ang has been delivered ay passive voice. Ito. Next, ito naman, sa past perfect, my order had been delivered already when another one arrived. Notice again dito, meron tayong dependent clause na naman. Itong when another, word, uh, when another one arrived. Notice, nag-umpisa na naman ito sa when, kaya dito ay had been ang ating verb phrase. Had been delivered. Unlike dito, has been delivered kasi wala naman siya ditong dependent clause na nag-uumpisa sa when. Okay, remember that. Next, the victims have been dead already for three hours. This is another present perfect. Wala na naman ditong, wala ditong uh, dependent clause na nag-uumpisa sa when. Instead, ang ginamit dito ay prepositional phrase, preposition of time, ha? for three hours. Ito ang ating time element. Wala rin itong dependent clause, kaya ang gamit dito ay have, hindi pwede ang had. Now, i-compare natin ito dito sa second sentence. The victims had been dead already for three hours when the ambulance arrived. Now, meron na tayo rin itong dependent clause na karugtong. When the ambulance arrived. Kaya, had na ang ating ginamit. Now, pwede rin nating balik ta rin ito. Pwede nating unahin ito. When the ambulance arrived, kama, the victims had been dead already for three hours. So, ganun pa rin. Had been pa rin ang ating gagamitin. Kaya lang, pag inuna natin ito, itong dependent clause, do not forget to place comma first. Dito, comma, and then 
continuation of the victims had been dead already for three hours. Now, if you've learned something in this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell in order to be updated, and of course, please share also. Thank you very much for watching. See you again.